Hello friends, Metapod here, and today I am playing my new birthday game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I've noticed a lot of people call it Super Mario Bros. Which, I mean, you can call it bros, but like, the bros with the periods, it stands for brothers, right? I've always called it Super Mario Brothers. Like I said the whole word brothers, not Mario Bros. But I guess you could really say it either way. One thing I noticed, I did play this today. I played it on a uh, stream. So if you follow me on Twitch, you can see my first impressions with this game. I only played a little bit. Um, but one thing I noticed is this title screen. It's pretty simple. There's no like big cinematic or anything when you turn the game on. It's just here you are, Super Mario Brothers Wonder is... I can't remember if 3D World was like that or not. Um, and we got Mario on here twice. We got Elephant Mario and Regular Mario. Um, yeah, I don't, we'll just start. I don't know where I was going with that. But look, we have all these users. Um, I have my regular account, my Japanese account, and my European account. So we'll play on my regular North American account. We can play up to four players, but uh, I'm only going to play the one. And I have a friend online. Okay, let's see, um, why is it just now saying I have a friend online? Like, usually when they come online it'll come up and tell you what they're playing, but like, it usually does that when I very first connect to... Oh, well, maybe it's because I just opened the software? Oh, it's because I just logged into my account in the game. Mm, I'm a genius. Anyway, let's play, let's play... So Yoshi's and Nabbit won't take damage, but they also won't transform with power. So basically it's like a, a beginner's mode. So the gameplay doesn't get any more complicated, and you don't get the chance to power up anything, but you don't die. Well, I think if you fall in a hole, you die. But enemies won't hurt you. So there's not a lot of holes to avoid, and they're not too hard to avoid. For the most part. I mean, there's there's some places with holes. I don't know. Like I said, I only played a little bit. It's not like I can... So let's play Let's play with a random character. We got Peach. Uh, let's play with Mario. I think it's only right to start the game out with Mario. Because Mario is Mario's the hero. They're all heroes, but... Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Is that the Mushroom Kingdom in the background? It looks more like Dinosaur Land. Upon receiving an invitation from Prince Florian, Mario and the others are traveling here for the first time. Okay, and then we can move. There we go. Uh, B is jump. Y is run. Where's the party? Where's the party? Here's Luigi. Hey, Luigi. Oh, look, he like looks up. Oh, he waved at me. So exciting. So exciting. The voices are great. Um, I actually put them in uh, Spanish. I uh, tried out the Latin American, Spanish, and Chinese voices. I didn't see if they had Korean voices. But the flowers, you can make them talk in all kinds of different languages. And that was the opening to the game, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. He's so cute. Look at him. We're all clapping. His prince something. What's his name? Never the apple, but ha. There's comic. Not good. Bowser. I like his little uh, Mario World flyer thingy. Wait, did I just see another one in the background? And so he gets the trippy flower. And then he merges with a castle. So I'm I'm noticing more things. So the castle in the background merged with Bowser's flyer. I don't know what you call that thing, the thing he flies in. And oh, that was baby Bowser in his little flyer. And now he turned into a flying fortress. Very scary. 
there he goes. He looks kind of like a coughing from Pokemon with the smoke coming out. Oh, that house is like an egg. Or oh, it's like a flower bud. Oh no, the house is getting... To... Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, he's locked up in there. Poor little dude. Was that King Bowser? How could he steal our wonder flower and our flower castle too? I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's it's just so awesome. Prince Florian is so cute. <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's like a little caterpillar, but he lives with the flower people. Bowser will make a terrible mess of our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. <laughs> Mario, he goes, oh, oh. the little, the art style is so cute. It's a new art style, like a new art direction for Super Mario. Look at Mario's face though. Like, look at that little happy face. It's so cute. And then Luigi looks really cute. You got Daisy over there, Toadette, the two Toads. Our main, our main guys. I'd like to be your guide if you don't mind. Just let me jump into your hat. Oh, so cute. There we go. And there's the issues in the Nabbit. Is that what it's called? Nabbit? I believe in you. World 1, Pipe Rock Plateau. Alright. So, we have L button brings up the map. Um, which we only have a portion of the map right now. So here's Pipe Rock Plateau. Looks like there's a desert and some stuff over there. I don't remember it looking like this. Oh, we must teleport away to somewhere else later. Or something. I don't know. Um, we can s press start. Um, we have courses, which we have no courses unlocked yet. We have standees. Um, these are really cute. You get to put down your standee in a stage. Um, so, like, if you're playing as Mario, you can put down this little standee of Mario jumping like that. And then um, I think if other people play online, they can find your standee and then like it. And you get likes. <laughs> I'm just guessing that's how it works. Oh, there's actually more... Pages. Oh, when I played this on stream, I just read this first page and pressed back. Okay. During online play, can you stand these place by your players worldwide to revive yourself when you're a ghost? Oh. Oh, you can turn into a ghost. That's cute. Your own standees can't revive you, but they can rescue your fellow players online. You may be able to save someone by placing one in a dangerous location. Gray standees. Interesting. There are many different standee designs. You can get new standees through the standee surprise at Poplin Shops in the world map. Once you've collected multiple standees, try placing them repeatedly. Each time you place a standee, the design will change. Oh, so you don't get to choose which standee you put out. Select standees from the main menu on the world map to see all the standees you've collected so far. So, okay, maybe I don't know what the likes or whatever is. There's like a little heart by it with a number. You can see it in the bottom right where it says Teo. It says heart and a bunch of zeros. Um, then we get these things called badges, which we'll go over those later. Um, we got player options. We got settings. Um, yeah, I definitely want it like that. Ground pound controls is good. Motion controls. I leave them on because sometimes I forget you can press R and I shake it because I'm used to like uh, like Mario Galaxy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm used to Mario Galaxy because I haven't played Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 since the Wii was like new and those games were new. But um, for some reason like, oh there was, there was shaking in uh, Odyssey. So I'm just, I'm just used to shaking it like mid jump to get a little boost and like now shaking it uses your special ability. Well, you'll see. You'll see. Rumble. Oh, I like strong rumble. 
talking flower dialogue voice on text off voice off text on voice on text on okay so we can play in english french french canadian german spanish spanish spain and latin america italian dutch portuguese from portugal portuguese from brazil russian japanese traditional chinese simplified chinese which i didn't know spoken chinese was different between traditional and simplified I, like, I know there's different dialects of Chinese, but I didn't know there was just traditional Chinese as a spoken language and simplified Chinese. Like, I thought those were writing systems. And I've never heard of them as being, like, voice. So, I don't know. Korean and match system language. So, we can... We'll play with them in English because the English voices are actually really cute. And then maybe when we go back to stages later in the future, we'll change it to different languages to see what they sound like. Um, online play notifications. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, control guide. That's how you do your item balloon. Okay. And we're going to play with double joy cons. Uh, let's save the game. Even though we've done nothing. And then let's turn on the online, because usernames and other play data such as points earned may be visible to others during online play. Connect. Because I didn't try this on Steam, on stream, because my, uh, my play, my... My internet can't handle streaming and playing online at the same time. I've tried it with Mario Kart. I've tried it with Crystal Chronicles. I tried it with various games and it just, I can't play online and stream at the same time. It just, <laughs> the internet tanks. Um, I also, I can't like, oh, I'm uploading to YouTube right now. So this might actually be really bad. The online might get bad. We'll see how it works. We'll see what the online status does. So the first thing we can do is go to Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. And uh, this was just more like an introductory video to the series. I'll, la I'll label, I'll label, I cannot say words. I will label this video zero and then video one will start with Welcome to the Flower Kingdom course. I'm excited to get into it. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It's been a while since I played a Super Mario game. The last one was 3D World. No, I played, I played some Odyssey, but I didn't stream it or play it on uh, YouTube or anything like that. So this is my f first time recording, broadcasting Super Mario in a long time. Um, I should go back and do like all the Super Mario games. I really love Super Mario games. That was my very first game when I was a kid was Super Mario Brothers. Um, I've been pretty much playing Super Mario since I was born. Uh, the NES and Super Mario Brothers came out the same month I was born, which, by the way, it's my birthday right now. <laughs> but by the time you see this video, it won't be my birthday anymore. It's not even going to be my birthday in 45 minutes. But um, my dad bought it for himself, and then I started playing it before I could talk. I was hitting buttons on it, and then... I eventually learned how to play it. I cleared the original Super Mario Brothers when I was like four years old. <laughs> As I got, I got pretty good because I played it all the time. <gasps> Someone popped up. <gasps> There's people running around. Oh, weird, cool. I didn't know that's what online was going to be like. Okay. So maybe we'll see, maybe it'll be like pop in multiplayer. We're like, while we're playing a stage, we'll see other people jumping around, which will be kind of annoying, and I'll probably turn it off, but um, we'll see how it goes. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Uh,